Meekness and majesty, Jesus did not defend himself, nor did he attack his persecutors. And never was there a greater demonstration of strength. That is manliness. That is strength. It was this very fact that seemed to so move the Ethiopian court official traveling back home from Jerusalem, who was baptized by Philip. You know the story in Acts 8? Philip is transported, he goes and he goes and he finds this Ethiopian eunuch, it says, who's been in Jerusalem. And now he's headed back to Ethiopia, right? Mm -hmm. And he's reading scriptures, mm -hmm. but he doesn't understand them. So Philip shows up, and it's like the, the Ethiopian is saying, can you explain this to me? You know what scriptures he was reading? It says it in Acts 8. Now the passage of scripture which he was reading was this. Mm -hmm. He, speaking of Jesus, was led as a sheep to slaughter, and as a lamb before its shearer is silent, so he does not open his mouth. Then Philip opened his mouth, and from beginning from this scripture, he preached Jesus to him. We think, we try and make Jesus attractive to people. Mm -hmm. We try and make the church attractive to, to people. We make the buildings as pretty as possible. We bring the prettiest music. We serve coffee and donuts. Trying to draw the people. In. Here is a man who was a court official in Ethiopia. A very, very, Ethiopia was a very important country back in those days. What, what got his attention was the humility, the gentleness. obedience, the gentleness, the meekness of mm. Jesus Christ. This is why Paul, the apostle, a man who literally was used by God to change the face of the earth, said, I have determined to know nothing but Christ and Him crucified among you. Mm. A real man is not measured by who he can beat up, but by who he can lift up. So Paul wrote to the Corinthians, Be on the alert, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong. 1 Corinthians 16, 13. And that was immediately followed by him saying, Let all that you do be done in love. It says, Now love is the first of these fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes. And I said that all of that fruit of the Holy Spirit is based on the foundation of love. Right. Okay? In 1 Corinthians, Paul writes about love. Here is the definition of, of love. And he said, love never fails. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. And you'll never know that if you don't put it to the test. Mm -hmm. If you've been convinced by the world that the only way that you, can, that you can win a confrontation is by beating up the other guy, becoming violent, you've been lied to and you believed a lie. And it's not the world's love. No, it's not. It is the love of Jesus Christ. That's right. I'm telling you that I would not be sitting here right now. Who killed Jesus Christ? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end on this. Who killed Jesus Christ? Well, I, well, you know what? I was brought up in religion that taught me that the Jews were Christ killers. But the simple fact of the matter is, yes, the Jews called for the death of Jesus Christ. Then they hired the Italians to carry it out. Oh! Huh? Yeah, well. There you go. Well... It's true. <laughs> Put a contract in. So it, it represented, think about this, that represented the people of God and all the people of the world. Yes. Who is responsible for the death of Jesus Christ? I was. Because he died Whoa. for my right. sin. Exactly. For all of us. And you know what his response was? When we hated him, yep. he loved us. He loved us. He, when he looked out, and said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they, were, what they do. I want to tell you, he wasn't just looking at those Roman soldiers, those Jews. He was time. looking out over time and space. He was looking straight into my eyes. He was looking straight into my heart when he prayed for me and said, Father, forgive, forgive them. Yeah. If it were not for that love, if it were not for that gentleness, if it were not for that forgiveness, where would I be? I'd have no hope. And neither would you. Mm -mm. So we need to examine ourselves and see, are we acting like the world with all that violence? Mm. Or are we acting like Jesus Christ? 
He said, learn from me, for I am gentle. The world is trying to teach you, be ready to fight somebody. That's the answer. And I'm telling you now, the answer is to love them. And God will give you victory, and it will touch their lives. We have a ministry of reconciliation. We have that power, not because you're a good person, because you're not. But because it says in Romans 5, 5, the love of God has been poured into your heart through His Holy Spirit. God's love above the heavens. God's love deeper than the sea. Watching over you